In recent months, there's been a lot of mystery surrounding Henry Cavill's Superman in the DCU. Between contract and cameo rumors, it's been a bit difficult to nail down the fate of DC's Golden Boy. Is he back for good? How many films will he be back as Superman for, and which ones? Are they full roles or just cameos? Well, let's go over what we know about Henry Cavill and his return to the role of Superman. The world has been so caught up with what Superman can do that no one has asked what he should do. Before The Rock himself leaked that Henry Cavill was back as Superman in Black Adam, Welcome home. Reports were confusing at best. Even here at small screen, we had numerous sources stating that they couldn't confirm if Cavill would be back in Black Adam, and if you remember, we had one that said he wouldn't be back. Well, we're happy that one source was wrong, as it's great to see Cavill show up in the Black Adam post credit scene. That means the battle between Henry Cavill and Warner Brothers is surely over. It seems the new management of Warner Discovery is on the right track smoothing things over. Regardless of who lost ground between the two parties, the real winners here are sure to be the fans. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the actor signed a one-off deal to cameo in Black Adam. However, this isn't the case at all. Cavill took to Instagram a few days after the release of Black Adam and he revealed the following news. I wanted to make it official that I'm back as Superman, and the image you see in this post and what you saw in Black Adam are just a very small taste of things to come. Right, one of the future Superman projects seems to be an appearance in the Flash movie. This has been reported in the past by Mikey Sutton over at Geekosity, Sil Abdul on his YouTube channel, and recently confirmed by us when one of our sources reached out. Recently, there's been a lot of talk about another round of rewrites and reshoots for The Flash. What? So it makes sense to have at least a cameo from Henry Cavill's Superman. However, will it be the main universe Superman? Or will it be some sort of variant that Barry Allen might run into? Is this the Snyderverse or a pocket universe? Only time will tell. With Ben Affleck back as Batman in Aquaman 2, anything is possible. <laughs> James Gunn, one of the joint heads in the newly formed DC Studios, is also in a hurry to get things ready for more Superman projects. Day one of his new role with the studio, he teased DC fans with a Twitter post featuring a Golden Age Clark Kent. Coupled with reports of a Man of Steel sequel being in the works, suggests we'll see Cavill back in at least one standalone Superman movie. We say at least because of what Hiram Garcia, producer of Black Adam, told Cinema Blend in regards to making a Superman vs. Black Adam movie. He said it's never been about a one-off for just about a fight. No, it's about so much more than that. We really want to craft a long form of storytelling and show that these two characters exist in the same universe and are going to have to deal with each other often, either on the same side or opposite sides. This suggests to us not only multiple Black Adam movies but multiple Superman movies as well. There has also been reports that James Gunn wants to make Amanda Waller the big bad of the DCU threading through the films. As gangster. Why is this important? Well, this conflicts with what Dwayne Johnson and Hiram Garcia have envisioned for Black Adam. They're wanting Black Adam to thread through the DCU films in one long arc. If reports of this conflict are true, will they come to an agreement or compromise? Whatever the case may be, one thing is for sure. Henry Cavill is about to get very busy. Right. Things are changing pretty rapidly with the DCU, and you know we try to keep you up to date like with our video on the AR cut coming out, which you can watch right here. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our news and exclusives playlist. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Like and subscribe.